morning everyone i'm glad you're here thank you for joining me once again please subscribe and please thumbs up my videos did you feel that earthquake late last night there in northern ontario it was just after 8 46 p.m eastern time a magnitude 3.0 it shook homes and nerves across greater sudbury area and some locals have shared their stories so stay with me i'll talk about this location do you notice this in red that's an ancient impact um, site where an asteroid smashed into the earth right along the outside rim of where the melted rock is from the impact which is drawn out in yellow there's another impact area there in canada that i've talked about in the past that's to the east this earthquake was centered in a mining area and that's really interesting. It's got a lot to do with this asteroid impact. The deposits that were already there, but very deep in the ground, came up because of the impact, making the access to the uh, different minerals, such as copper, in larger pockets and more easily accessible. Yeah, can you imagine an asteroid um, changing the geology of this location? Wow. This earthquake was shallow, only about six miles in depth or 10 kilometers, meaning it was uh, felt stronger than, you know, what it would otherwise if it was deeper. Sudbury sits in the site of an ancient impact crater. This is the uh, location of Sudbury. Numerous craters here on Earth are exceptionally compelling when viewed from space. They often display clearly visible rims and well-defined bowls but not Sudbury it can take a moment looking at the images to discern the shape of the impact let me bring this out it is really weathered because of its age the asteroid responsible for creating the Sudbury basin crashed into the earth about 1.8 billion billion years ago making this crater in Canada 50 times older Papageli, one of the world's most well-preserved craters, which was created um, a mere 36 million years ago. That's uh, an area where they call um, the Diamond Crater because of the impact. It heated up uh, the materials on the ground and is one of the largest areas there in Siberia where they find diamonds. This crater here is about 120 miles across. And it has been deformed and eroded over the yeah, eons. More than likely, the impact did create many faults throughout this area. So this was probably on one of the faults that isn't mapped. Many reports of swaying lamps and dishes rattling. Windows probably were also rattling. One report from Greater Sudbury tweeted, uh, Tremor hit right after the Jays game. Thought it was uh, fireworks. My coffee mug, dug, uh, mug danced across the table. No injuries or structural problems have been reported so far. Just startled pets and a few spilled drinks. Earthquake Canada does have an earthquake reported close to that same location. But that was a mining event. That was on the 17th at uh, 1046 Universal Time. I don't know why Earthquake Canada doesn't have this earthquake list. I do have that other one, but if you did feel this earthquake, you can always go to Earthquake Canada and fill out a questionnaire. This earthquake on the 17th was a magnitude 3.2. No road closures or power outages were reported from this magnitude 3.0. Environment North and local fire departments um, urging people to secure heavy objects, furniture, you know, bookcases to the wall. Make sure you don't have anything that's above your bed or where you sit at night. You know, any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And if you're in an unfamiliar location, yeah, take note of your exits. Historically, Ontario sees about 11 earthquakes a year. Uh, most of them are under a magnitude 4.0. So quickly, I want to show you the area of the other impact zone off to the east, seeing how I brought it up so you can know 
Yeah, this was only recently discovered because of the, uh, what they call um, shock rock that was found in the area from the impact of that um, asteroid. So I wonder if last night's earthquake has anything to do with the impact crater because we have been seeing a lot more earthquakes of late. Maybe it's the ground adjusting. Even now, you know, billions of years after this impact. Or was it stress that has built up because of mining in the area? What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.